it is I, Artwork of DR, DJ Kitty Ruby, you know, your girl. And um, I just wanted to do a, do a little DIY with y'all. And um, I love using body mist. Um, back when I did my wish haul, I got this Do Me um, Rose Water Purifying and Setting Mist. And it had sparkles in it, and it was really nice. But it ran out. And so I ended up getting this from Amazon. It is an organic rose water. And it's really nice. It smells like real roses because it's distilled from actual roses. It's organic and it's USDA, you know, approved and all that stuff. It's really, really nice. It, if you think about roses when you're spritzing it all, like spritzing it, you seriously think you're like standing in a field of roses. It's wonderful. But um, I really do like that shimmering effect. And I still had a little bit of shimmer left over in the bottle of this. So I did end up putting it in here. But it's not a lot. And I was a little disappointed by that. So I was thinking, how do I make my own So I'm going to take this off here. And I've had this stuff for years. I put this all over my face. It's like a highlighter but it's also like a bronzer it's hard candy uh, this is golden pancakes I've had this forever I don't even know how long I've had it I just know that I've had it forever um, I love this stuff though it's just like shimmery powder it's really nice it's just golden you can just Just rub it on. Normally I use a brush, not my hand. But like, it's really shiny and nice. And it gives a little bit of a goldish color. And I was like, you know what? I wonder if I put it in there if it would look nice. So we're going to be adding a little bit. It looks like it might be enough. We'll shake it up and see. And... I already know it's safe for my face because I rub it all over my face all the time anyway. And I always close my eyes when I spray this stuff, so. I feel like it'll help with, since I am so pale, it'll definitely help bronze the skin a little bit, add a little sparkle. I just love that smell. <laughs> I think we'll add a little bit more to it. I mean, this is one of those projects you could make, well, you know, any way you want. You can have it be less sparkly, more sparkly. I do have a darker color of this, but I thought it would be way too dark. Um, after I'm done mixing this, I'll show you dolls. But it, I definitely love this stuff, and it lasts a long time. It's just a nice shimmery powder. Sorry, our weather's been changing lately, and uh, when that happens, I kind of end up getting congestion and stuff. So, apologize for that. Just mix it up. Now the whole bottle looks all nice and shimmery and bronzy. And anytime you use something with sparkles in it, you're going to have to shake it up every time you use it anyway. I mean, I just use this stuff even when I don't have makeup on. And it can really make your face nice and dewy and sparkly. It's like I put it on my arms, my shoulders, my face. And I really love using this stuff. Like, just the rose water itself, before you even have any sparkles in it. It just feels good on the skin. It's very lovely. Let me see if I can get that other color real quick. I do have my makeup thing out. Yeah. 
All right, so yeah, it's another hard candy poppin' pigments is what they're called. And this one is golden, wait a minute, how can this be golden pancakes if this one is golden pancakes? That makes no sense. <laughs> okay, guys, they have the exact same name, and I don't understand. Like, this one is very goldy. This one is more of a chocolate or bronze, almost. Like, let me see if I can get some more of it out. Trying to get it all over the place here. Alright, we're just gonna knock it off. But, let me turn off my extra light. There we go. So, I mean, it is pretty dark. This is the darker one that I did not put into the spray. And then we'll get some of this lighter one. Put it over there. See, this one is definitely more of a gold color, and this one is more of a bronze color, like brown chocolate. So yeah, I definitely thought the darker one would be too dark for my skin color, like all over the place. I have used it. Not as much as I've used this one, though. Like I said, I've had these for years, and they're just these tiny little bottles. And this one is full to about here. This one I couldn't even tell you because it's so dark it looks like it's still full all the way to the top. Um, I have used it a little bit. Oh yeah, so like I just tipped it upside down and now I can see there's only like that tiny bit missing out of the jar. Um, like I said, they're very pretty, they're very shimmery. Like. But yeah, that's just my little DOI project. I mean, I'm going to be using this on my face later on when I do my makeup later as finishing touches. And I use, I always, I already sprayed my face with it. So obviously, um, <laughs> my face is going to be a little shimmery at the start of my next makeup look. And uh, since I keep this by my desk I keep the little one by my desk so I'm gonna put some of this new mixture into the little vial because I keep the little one by my desk because that way when I'm sitting here and I need a little freshness for the day I just spray myself because it gets hot That and I, I really do enjoy the smell of the rose water. It's very, very nice. So this is what it looks like in the small bottle. It's very nice, very shimmery. So I will be putting the big one away. And I'll be using the small one at my desk. Uh, you can probably find any other loose shimmery powder. Just make sure you are closing your eyes while spritzing yourself and closing your mouth. This is not edible glitter or anything like that. Um, definitely make sure it's something you've used in the past or at least try it on your skin to make sure it doesn't irritate you. I have been using these for a very long time. I don't know if they're still making these but I love them, so I will continue using them until they are gone. 
I don't care how old they are. They don't have an expiration date on them because they're just tiny packaging. Um, but like I said, I love them and yeah, I'm going to use them until they're gone. So I hope you dolls enjoyed this little DIY project. Um, I got the spray off of Amazon. It's really nice. It says that the benefits of it are skincare, softness and moisturizing, rejuvenation, stimulating, and harmonizing. It says that's for all skin types. It says daily care after cleansing, showering, after sun exposure, for makeup removal, for travel. So it says you can suggested use, apply gently with a cotton ball onto face and neck morning and evening after cleaning this to tone and refresh skin mist it over your entire body after shower or to freshen up anytime for a splash of fragrance or gentle aroma sorry uh, massage the roots of your washed hair or use as an inlay hair rinse you can add a teaspoon to your morning juice or tea obviously not after you add glitter don't do that so just the ingredients it says rose the Muscana Rose Filter Flower Distilled. I'm not saying that properly, I'm sure, because I'm horrible at reading stuff. But D A M A S C E N A. It, I mean, it's nice. I like it. And I hope you dolls, if you want to try that out, you can probably do it with any kind of rose water spray. It doesn't have to be that exact one. But I will try to find a link from the Amazon to put below for you dolls as well and I hope you dolls enjoyed that I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my makeup and I'll be back with you guys